Ditos from Connecticut. Wink again. Now we over here. Uh, we got a air handler over here. It's the first company air handler. We're looking up the schematic over here to have a better understand how this thing work. And uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things over here. You should look into it when every job you go into it. And uh, maybe we we'll learn something today over here. Yeah. For all those new guys to go in the field right now. New people. And uh, we all learn together over here. Well, we're looking at schematic over here, this air handler. And uh, the first thing when you go out to a job, the first thing you look over here the power coming in this particular one is 120 okay it's 120 so now we know right off the back that we're working with 120 okay so you got to be careful up there guys you got to go to 240 you know 220 you got all kind of stuff up there so you got to be careful because you don't want to burn anything anything down so and go hurt yourself. So that's the first thing. Now we got L1 and L2. L1 goes over here. The door to switch. Every time you remove the door, the fan go off. Switch over here. Some some of the hotted, some double have it. L1, L1 keep going over here. Go to here. You power the transformer. This is a step down transformer over here we later on we're going to bring this schematic to life okay and as you see over here also you have one power the relate and in the same time it powered the heat sequencer over here too all right all right so <coughs> power the heat sequencer all right and uh goes around now it's open it goes around red go around go around go around and come back to the heat side over here to back to the to the blower that's the circus right there okay that one goes goes around power the transformer power the relay power the heat sequencer go around through here, through here this is a relay and normally open it and normally close okay uh, it's like a two speed they use this type thing for two speed it's a two speed uh, relay basically that's what they're using over here for two two speed uh, basically yeah for two speed relay I got it over here step of relay over here you guys see this is this one over here this is what you got over here this, this step of relay piece I don't know if you can see or not but it, we're looking relay all right now you come over here guys and the other side Let's go back to the transformer on the other side. This is a step down transformer, 24 volt. Red wire coming out straight out to the thermostat block to R. The common wire. Go to the relay. You jump out and go to the heat sequencer on this side. Okay. What happened over here? How this thing work? Let's say you call for heat. R, power W. W run to the heat sequencer over here. The comments already hooked up for the transformer. The heat sequencer heat up in a hundred second, a hundred fifty, whatever, one, one or two minutes. It takes the heat sequence to heat up. 
if I let me look over here see how how many how many seconds to 141 141 second heat and 143 to in the, in the shutdown say so take 141 second so that's how many minutes one minute uh, two minutes like a three minute all right heat up he pop the heat sequence pop close this contact okay send him L1 through here, through here, to this relay. Go down here, boom, right away. The blow will start kicking. Okay. Now, this is a hydronic system now. We don't got no strip, heat strip, and none, none of that stuff. Okay. Uh, now, the hydronic system need the pump. So I could pump the water around through the radiator. It's like a radiator inside that this air handle on the other side, a hydronic. So, at the same time, that we powered W for call for heat. At the same time, you see, we, 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 we had to run this wire to the pump over here, W. Uh, see to this relay over here, which make the pump to run. It's a relay. Then we relay, call the thermostat to pump. Well, my phone's making a lot of noise, huh? And uh, that's it, guys. I'll make another video. And then we go to some more stuff.